Do you ever wonder about that unexpected blank value in your slicers which you just casually ignore? This video is going to explain the reason for it and what can you do about it. Hi, my name is Jolti and I'm sharing my journey with Power BI on this channel. I explore and experience with how Power BI works, how can I build productivity dashboards by trying to have fun in the process. I quickly created a dimension, 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 table and the fact table. I put some categories in the dimension table, one to five, and I put some data in the fact table, the different categories. Let's see how they look like in slices and tables. Put the dimension category here and I put the fact categories in another table. And I also put the amount to it. And I also put the dimension categories in slicer. Give them some names. So as you can see in the dimension, all the categories are visible and in the fact table, only the categories which had a value. And they are connected through the category ID. No blank values are visible, so we are happy. The reason that we occasionally see a blank value in the dimension slicer, in the dimension category, is because the engine behind Power BI creates a blank value for every value which is not found through the relationship from the fact table. So when the fact table has a value which is not in the dimension, then it creates a blank. I'm going to add a category to the fact table which is not in the dimension table. As you can see, the dog category appeared in the fact table, but we still don't have it in the dimension table. And therefore, a blank value appeared here in the dimension slicer. If you select blank, you can see that the dog is selected. And the same thing happens if the category is missing in the fact table. I'm going to change the dog into blank. Now you can see that the dog category in the fact table disappeared and if we select blank, the blank is selected. And what happens if we have multiple missing or invalid categories in the fact table? Let's check. As you can see, we have dog, donkey, and the blank category, but we only see one blank, and if we select it, it selects all the blanks. So it creates one blank value in the dimension table for all the missing or invalid values in the fact table. If you just want to get rid of the blank in the slicer, go to the filter panel, select category, select all except blank, and it disappeared. It remains also the same if you add new categories to it, so you don't have to reselect them later. You can also just go to advanced filtering and select is not blank and apply, but I think it's an extra step. Let's say you have a lot of values in the fact table and you can't see which values are missing or invalid, and you want to find it out, you can just open Power Query Go to the fact table and temporarily merge the dimension table to it. Then you can filter it to the new values. So if you have a big data set you can see where the problem lies. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more of this in the future, hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.